If it's cold with snow on the ground in Rochester in February, that can only mean one thing. It's time we're off for yet another sale. Let's go. Alright, so today's sale is about a half an hour to 40 minute drive from home. It's actually the second sale that they've had at the place, but they completely cleared everything out and wholesaled the stuff at the back end last time. Uh, I actually picked up some of the stuff wholesale. Uh, broke even on the stuff that I bought, but I've got other stuff to list and some stuff hasn't sold yet. Um, the collector, as you'll see from the stuff that I ended up buying, had a lot of Scotty Dog stuff. And so what I was doing in a lot of the listings of the magazines that I was buying was mentioning Scotty Dog in the cover and had a couple of people buy an awful lot of them from me. Um, the estate sale, the second day of the sale should be probably 30% off. The prices that they start with at this estate sale, a lot of them they're dreaming on. I'm kind of going out there to try to pick and then kind of talk to the estate sale people to see about coming back tomorrow, which is the last day of the sale, and picking stuff up at a, at a substantial discount like I was able to do last time. So, probably be coming back in a couple of hours, showing you a bunch of stuff that I bought with uh, dogs all over it. And they do sell, so hopefully they've got a lot of good stuff left. And if not, well, we get a nice 40 minute drive. Alrighty, check back with you later. Alright, looks like we're coming up onto the sale. And, yep, there it is. I think we'll pass a little bit beyond it park. Actually, not that many people here. I was afraid there'd be a line outside, which I really wasn't looking forward to in this weather. So, we shall see what we can pick up. A lot of treasures in here. Star Wars toys, things like that. Uh, prices are a little bit on the high side. I really don't deal in this a lot. Um, and the funny thing is, you're probably watching this saying, oh my gosh, that's a $50 item. That's a $100 item. They only want $15. Oh, giveaway, giveaway. And I never really know this kind of th stuff. A lot of Funkos, stuff like that. But I tend to specialize in the paper, so I pass on a lot of this stuff here. But a lot of really neat stuff. Kiss, Spawn, uh, a lot of the McFarlane items. And then we've got the paper stuff over here, a little bit there in the background. Uh, just a whole table full of nice stuff, but the prices tend to be a little bit on the high side to take chances, uh, unfortunately. But again, you're looking at this here saying, Oh my gosh, why didn't he buy that? Why didn't he buy that? Which is always kind of the fun. Uh, you screaming about what I'm not buying and my watching your video and screaming about what you're not buying. So it's a good time for everybody. But it's kind of a neat, neat item right there too. Japanese Barbie. Um, again, don't really know a lot about any of this stuff over here. So didn't buy it and the prices were not, not where you could take a chance. Hey, we're back. Spent about $55 thereabouts. Um, one thing, I was a little slow in checkout, and that was completely on me, and I'm glad there weren't a lot of people behind me. Well, when I first started to check out, by the end there were. Um, if you have a tax ID number, you should probably get one for whatever state you're in. At least in New York State, having it, I don't have to pay sales tax on my purchases as long as they're for resale. Uh, make sure you tell the person at the checkout that they run my credit card through and are about to put it all the way through, and then I said, oh, that's tax exempt. They weren't overly happy with me. Uh, we're probably not going to be going back tomorrow to the uh, sale. There wasn't really all that much paper stuff. Um, certainly not as much as I hoped that there would be. Um, they had magazines, things like that. They were a little bit on the high side price-wise. $8 a piece for Life magazines, which basically is more than I can get out of them. They had uh, single advertisements. They wanted $8 a piece. So it was one of those sales where you really had to go through in order to find good things. Uh, as, as I was able to spend $50, I was able to find good things. Um, but there really was not the crowd that I expected. And, and I think one of the reasons was the price. And I think another reason was the fact it was a second sale at the same location. That, that does scare people away. It was completely new things. I, I will admit that. Um, but I think a lot of people were afraid it was the same stuff. A uh, few things here that I purchased. Here, show you here. This is kind of neat. $3 and it was 30% off. So it was just over $2 for this. It's a, it's a photo in a, in a little stand for... Uh, frame well the main reason i got it it looks like it's probably 1930s and it's scotty dogs and the prior person or the uh the estate they collected a lot of scotty dog items so i figured i'll be putting scotty dog items up this will sell for sure it's a neat little item uh and, and the photo the, uh, the cute little kid in there too but again it's the scotty dogs that we purchased it for looks to be 1930s should be a, should be kind of a good item and along that same theme 
they wanted two dollars each for postcards and it was 30 percent off so i just picked out a bunch of them so it was a dollar whatever that works out to each but all with scotty dogs and my theory is and this is something or other that you'll uh, you'll learn as time goes on as well if you get a chance to buy a lot of these uh, of the same type item you put them all on because somebody will want this postcard and because the combined shipping they'll say oh that one's really neat and this one's really neat as well and then they'll end up buying six eight postcards at the same time from you so it's a good way to sell and it'll also sell other postcards that i have and previously when i purchased from the people i have other scotty items too listed as such so they'll buy some of the other scotty stuff as well so overall a little more than i wanted to spend on them but just such such bulk that i'll do fine on them pick this up over here uh first aid civilian defense these things usually date from the 50s and 60s but anytime you see civilian defense it, it sells so it's worth picking up they had a bunch of paper items two bucks a piece 30 percent off so pick them up or pick that up it'll sell and it also i've got other civilian defense things so it'll spur sales that's it's one of the key things that you always want to do that's the advantage of having a lot of items listed is when you list something that you have other ones similar it makes other ones sell as well uh pick this up over here and the main reason I bought this is General Electric on it. Um, Silent Hostess Treasure Book. It's got a lot of recipes and things like that because, you know, General Electric is known for cooking. Uh, and actually, I'm sure it came with an appliance back in the day. Looks to be without check, uh, 1932. So, yep, 1930s. But again, the GE is what will end up selling it. And then we bought these couple of things over here, which, if this works, it's well worth the money. Uh, eat and get slim. Um, one would think with the amount that I eat that I would be a skeleton at this point, but no such luck. I'm probably doing it wrong. We'll check these out. I'm sure, it'll be a lot better. And uh, actually, people enjoy these old these old books. They they like to read them. They get ideas, and, and they get a good laugh out of some of it. You know how alcohol affects weight. Probably adds to it, but I don't know for sure. I haven't read the book yet. Um, and here's another item here that I got. Another recipe book. But the main reason I got this is if you look down at the bottom, it's from Logansport, Indiana. Now, I've never been to Logansport, Indiana. I don't know where Logansport, Indiana is. Don't know the first thing about it. But people from Logansport, Indiana, well, they know where they are. And it's also got stuff, you know, advertisements in there for ice delivery, things like that. So it's pretty neat. It's from 1938-39. The people from that, you know, J.M. Kimbrough drugstore low and david barnes hotel and cafe so it's got a lot of great little local ads that anybody from logansport indiana would really like and hopefully they they purchase it from me and then the the last thing that i want to show you i did pick up a couple of other things but the last thing i want to show you is uh it's a pencil case five dollars thirty percent off so whatever that worked out to and it's got a bunch of pencils inside Oops, as they fall all over the place. Uh, they used to be mint condition. Um, so you got that over there. Metal, no date on it. Worth taking a chance on. I've got other pencils listed, pencil leads, things like that listed. So again, somebody will come across, find this. Maybe they'll buy a pencil lead off me. Maybe they'll buy this off me. Whatever it happens to be. But it's it's definitely worth going. And if it spurs more sales, then, then it's worth doing. Uh, overall, we'll make money on the sale. Not a... Not, certainly not the sale that I expected it to be. And again, I will not be going back tomorrow. Uh, last time I went back both days because the second or the last day I was able to buy a big, big pile of stuff for a good price. I couldn't even make a big, big pile of stuff out of what's left over. Uh, so not, not worth the trip tomorrow, but glad we went and hopefully you learned some stuff out of it. And hopefully I learned some stuff out of it when I list. And just remember, uh, more stuff you buy, the more stuff you learn, more money you make, better off you are. See you next video.